Hello and welcome to a new flight report. I am in Buenos Aires, Argentina at the airport Jorge Newberry and I totally butchered that I think. It is September 2019, a long time before we had all the restrictions on flying. I am going from Buenos Aires to the airport of Iguazu in the north of Argentina close to the border of Paraguay and Brazil. I am flying on Natam Airlines today. I will try their A320-200, which is 20 years old, in economy class for this domestic flight. Flight time today is about 1 hour and 50 minutes. This airport is more for domestic routes and much closer to the city center than the international airport. So it's very easy to get here by taxi or by bus. I would recommend the bus, it is so much cheaper than the taxi and uh, the connections are nice. I found a very cheap ticket online to go to Iguazu, where I want to see the national park and the waterfalls. And on this trip, as I said, it's Lantam. On the way back, I will use Norwegian Argentina, which, when this video comes out, is no longer existing. Check-in was fast and easy. I have no luggage on me today. I'm traveling with my backpack on a day trip. The airport was quite crowded and it's a very long airport, as you will see later on. You have to walk a lot to get to the destination you want to. The airport is not the newest model, but I didn't want to do sightseeing at an airport, I just wanted to fly from here, so I think it's okay. Security control here was quick and easy. I even forgot a bottle of water in my backpack and they never mentioned it. I just could take my backpack and go on. At other airports in other countries, they would have stopped me for that. As you can see, you have the same shops and the same products all over the world. Nothing special here. As always, I am too early at the airport and since I have an economy ticket and no access to any launch, the only thing I could do was going up and down the long airport. After quite some waiting and shortening the waiting time with having a breakfast and a cup of coffee at the airport with horrendous prices, my flight was finally boarding. As you can see, they're wishing everybody a nice trip, but before the trip can start and I can board the airplane, I have to take a bus doing a small tour around the whole airport. Welcome to the pre-flight experience. And now let's take a look at some facts about my flight. The bus drive was quite long and I had to cut and speed up the whole recording, otherwise it might have been longer than the whole flight. On the other hand, you get a very good impression of the airport. And I definitely cannot complain about the weather I have today. The Airbus A320-200 I'm flying on today had been delivered to Lantam Chile in 2000 and is in service for Lantam Argentina since 2008. As you can see, Lantam is part of the One World Alliance. I don't have any status there, I'm not collecting any miles there, this is a flight just for fun. The interior of this plane is a little bit dated, but it was okay clean, no complaints here, it was a very low fare. Both the table and the seat could have been cleaned a little bit better, and looking to my right now, I have this beautiful view out over the wing. The seat pocket contains the normal stuff like security information, a magazine, everything you need, nothing special here. Something special I got and I've never seen that before in any airline I flew with 
is that I got a little stand for my mobile phone or tablet to watch movies while flying. The in-flight entertainment system which was online was quite nice on this flight. The crew had quite some work to do, they had to help a lot of people to get access to the in-flight entertainment system. Since the crew hadn't the time to help everybody on this full book flight, I tried to help my seat neighbors. They were an Argentinian elderly couple that didn't speak a word of English and I don't speak a word of Spanish. But with using our hands, using our feet, using smiling, using pointing, we figured it out and I could help them. They were really happy, really thankful and totally friendly to me. That's one thing I like about traveling. As you saw a few seconds earlier, the leg room on this plane was terrible. I haven't had so little leg room in quite some time. Finally, we are on our way and we will be in Iguazu in about two hours. I will let you enjoy the takeoff and the engine sound without any of my comments. service on this flight so I listened to my audiobook and watched out of the window enjoying the blue sky. Below us you can see the Rio de la Plata. As I said earlier I'm going to the Iguazu National Park and then known waterfalls. I put a video about the Iguazu waterfalls up some weeks earlier. I will put a link to the video up in the corner. Just take a look at this beautiful view, the blue sky. This is one of the reasons why I like flying so much. The flight was uneventful and now we are descending into Iguazu. As you see when you look outside my window, the airport of Iguazu is in the middle of nowhere in the rainforest, just surrounded by trees and nothing else.
welcome to Iguazu Airport. As always in my videos, I will give a short review of my flight experience today. Remember, this is my experience today on this plane with this crew. It might be a totally different experience for you. And as always, I reward one to five golden eggs for different categories. All in all, I had a very nice flight experience and would definitely try Lantum again. As you can see, they are updating the airport at Iguazu. And I can definitely not complain about the weather I got here. Thanks for joining me on my flight today. I hope you have enjoyed the flight report. If you haven't subscribed yet, now would be a good time to do so. And you're welcome to leave a like and a comment. Thanks for watching. See you on my next flight report. Until then, live with no excuses and travel with no regrets.